this video, I will show you how to add a student to your class or add a new student to the system. First, log in as a teacher. Click on my students. Always assume that the students are on the system and as such, make sure you search for the student before you attempt to add the student. To search for the student, you type a search value or a search word. Do not type search statements, meaning do not type multiple words. So I want to look for a student called Gary Walker. If I type in Walker and press enter, the system will return all names with Walker. Examine the list carefully until you see the name of the student that you that you desire. Here I have a student is right here using seven integrity. I can edit this record. To edit the record, if you're not seeing the edit button to your right, like oh I'm not seeing it, scroll across and you will see the edit button. Click on it. This will open up the manage students window which allows you to modify the record you can drop down on the list and change the class id of the student in this case i am moving gary from seven integrity to seven zero once i'm done i click on save then i close the record you'll notice that the gary is still appearing to be in seven integrity that's okay you simply will Refresh the window by hitting the search button again, and the system will apply the change. All right, it will show the change. The change was applied the moment you save it, but, but to be satisfied, sometimes you just want to refresh it to ensure that you actually click the save button. All right, it's a good practice. To add a new student to the system, earlier we explained how to modify the record of an existing student that we could not find. We were looking for the student in 7-0, but the student was actually in 7-integrity, all right? You can add a, a new student once, once we have satisfied our search. So we're going to search for, say, Garfield. And I'm not seeing the Garfield I want. I want Garfield Wilson. Garfield Wilson is not here. So I'm going to click on Add. And then I'm going to fill out the name, fill out the information. Make sure you set the status to active. You select the class that the student is a member of. You enter the student name. So the student is Garfield Wilson. If you have the nickname, go ahead and record it. Select the gender. Be sure to enter a date of birth, even if it's today's date. If you don't, it's, this is a required field. So we have successfully added all the required information. Everything else is optional. If you have an address, be sure to go ahead and add it there. All right. But notice that my save button is grayed out, which, in, which, is, which is indicating that there's a required field that I missed. The, the required field that it was missed is on the admission tab. We are required to enter the starting admission date. When did the student join the school? Click on the calendar and be sure to set the appropriate date. Notice the save window is, the save button is now enabled. You can click on save. When we close the window and refresh the search, we will now see that Garfield is added, All right? That's how you add a student to the system. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.